I have seen dozens of forum posts complaining about the extrusion problems on the Prusa Mark III, but I wasn't able to find any working solution to this problem even from the official support forum. So in this video I want to show you what is causing this problem, how you can fix it and much more. Before a few weeks I bought my Prusa Mark III kit which I assembled as I should according to the manual. But when I started my first couple of prints I noticed that I can hear clicks from the extruder. I wasn't able to print almost anything without failing or significant quality loose. So if you have problem with under extrusion, extruder clicking sound, layer skipping or your filament is not being extruded at all, changes are quite high that this can help you. So if you take a look under the extrusion idler, which you can open by unscrewing two tensioning screws with springs and removing the idler plug from top of it. Under it we can see two Bonte gears. If you take a look at the 3D model of the extruder assembly inside the Fusion 360, we can see that the shaft on which are two bearings with Bonte gear is not long enough to reach both ends when it's not inserted properly. And then the force which is being transferred from the second gear connected to the stepper motor into the second gear will bend the left plastic shaft housing and the gears will start to jam or lose grip and then the filament will not be extruded properly. Well, but how you can fix this problem? It is extremely simple. Insert the two bearings into the Bonte gear, then insert the end of the shaft into the chamfered edge on the idler. Bring the Bonte gear into the position and now push the shaft into the hole until it will be exactly in the middle and make sure that it is inserted in both holders. Now if you will apply even quite large force to that gear, Bonte gear shaft should not move at all if you did everything correctly. Now here is a comparison between before and after. As you can see there is a quite huge difference if you can move this small and precise part by that much. Now I recommend also to apply some lithium based grease onto the Bonte gears to protect them against rust and to reduce friction and other things. When you will be assembling everything back make sure that idle spring screws are not over tightened and they should stick a bit from the rest of the extruder as you can see. Also don't forget to check if the Bonte gears are aligned properly as you can see now. This will probably fix this problem but I think that Prusa should come up with a better solution. First of all in the manual should be stated how deeply you should insert this shaft because it is too short to reach both ends if it's not correctly in place. And the most correct solution would be to ship all new printers with a longer shaft because even if you will fix this problem by centering it, it can be only temporary solution. Before this I tried almost everything. I disassembled the extruder and cleaned the nozzle, if that's not the problem. Then I changed the nozzle with a brand new one, just to be sure. I also tried to change tension of the idler spring screws firmware updates, I also tried different filament if a moisture or quality of that particular one was not an issue but everything without any luck, until I pushed that shaft more into the center. I'm using my Prusa mainly for printing parts for my electric longboard and due to this under extrusion problem, part which was 3D printed and was holding a motor broke off because it was under extruded and the layers were not properly joined and I ended up with an injury. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, have a nice day and I will see you next time.